The stock market surged more than 800 points today on the news. The national unemployment rate fell to 13 percent in May and 2.5 million jobs were added. That's a surprisingly positive number in the midst of a recession that has paralyzed the economy and also depressed the job market. The May job gain suggests that businesses have quickly been recalling workers as states have reopened their economies. But as consumer investigator Danielle Serena reports, the numbers do not tell the whole story. And we saved millions of lives, and now we're opening, and we're opening with a bang. The U.S. is back in business, literally, according to the president. So we were able to close our country, save millions of lives, open and now the trajectory is great. Despite losing some 40 million jobs since the start of the pandemic, the May report looked pretty darn good. 2.5 million jobs added, according to the Labor Department. It's the biggest one-month gain since the Depression, suggesting the economy is starting to stabilize. One of the reasons why the U.S. economy is probably bouncing back pretty rapidly right now is that we've had very aggressive fiscal policy in both the uh, tax uh, credits to households, enhanced unemployment insurance. If that strong support for, from fiscal and monetary policy continues, uh, it'll help to create a better recovery in the second half of this year as well. It's much better than the 19.5 percent unemployment rate analysts expected, which they attribute to the economy opening up and people who were furloughed returning to work. But two-fifths of the jobs are part-time. And here in Ohio, there are about 130,000 people still waiting for benefits, with thousands not even included in the unemployment numbers because the backlog in our system has kept them out like Ron Kelly, who owns a bed and breakfast in Oberlin. It's just us self-employed. We're the last ones to be dealt with. Yep. And, yep. We're, and we're standing on our own. He's one of some 20 million Americans still without a steady paycheck, which has led to a 13% drop in consumer spending. Consumers are, are really struggling. You know, a lot of people uh, took a major hit. And we have a lot of folks in the state who never fully recovered from the last recession. So that we've really got to, to work on. Add in a pandemic, which is far from over and may still set us back, it may not be time to take the victory lap just yet, but let's take the win for now. I'm Danielle Serino, 3 News.